Terry from Bacana Cottage and I wanted to do the next question in the YouTube Pagan Challenge which I started but then completely forgot about. <laughs> um, so the question was um, something about do you have an altar space or a shrine or that kind of thing. So this is my altar space and I've also got like my witchy books here as well so it's going to be a sort of combined combined video here. Um, so I'll just get started because this might take a little while. <laughs> the lighting today is not great so I've just lit some candles and hopefully that's enough. Um, this one here is a beeswax candle made by a friend of mine. Um, they make their own candles and sell them. Um, this and the stand behind the candle holder is from Italy. My mum, um, mum and dad went to Italy um, a few years ago and she brought that back for me. Over there, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little bracelet. And that was a childbirth, um, so childbirth assistance bracelet, I guess. Um, and yeah, I wore that when I was having my babies. Um, my little cauldron, so I've got two little cauldrons here. This one's um, a copper one, and this one, I don't think it's copper, I think it might be a brass. Anyway, I just burn incense in those. This one I use more for the charcoal disc ones. Um, this one's for cone incense. Um, that little tray there is also for cone incense. I love incense. Um, this, excuse my big hand in there. My little piece of agate's fallen over. Um, so I've got a little slice of dyed purple agate. Oh, the lighting is really not good. Um, and I've got some little like geodes here. And of course the train's going by when I'm recording a video. Um, I might actually try and put a light on here. Hang on. Okay, hopefully that's helped. Um, these are my little geodes with little crystals in them. This one's my favourite, this one here. Uh, that one. Because <laughs> it's got this, this little, um, couple of little crystals sitting up in there, which is really sweet. Um, this one was a stone I found at the beach or something, and it was actually being split in half, which was really cool. And it's actually got some sort of quartz or something in the middle, just in the middle there. Um, these two I purchased recently. This one's like an opalite, I think, and this one is like, um, I think they called it a druid stone. I don't know if that's the actual name for it, but it's kind of got like its own little world inside, which is really cool. Um, just a standard incense burner there. This is, I'm just trying to get it to focus. Um, this is a an ashtray that I actually got from my sister. I had two of them. This one's a green one. I had a blue one as well. Um, but for some stupid reason, I decided that burning a charcoal disc in it was a great idea. <laughs> and of course it exploded. So I only have the one left now. Um, but these are just random shells and stuff that I've picked up from the beach. Um, or my kids have picked up from the beach as well. Here I have um, a Maybon card. Um, it's got like a little little um, prayer on the back, a little blessing thing. Um, I have a pack of a set of those for all eight Sabbaths, um, which came with um, a magazine subscription, which was really cool. The God and Goddess representations at the back there, they are made from lava stone. They came from Vanuatu. Um, I went to Vanuatu with my husband, or my now husband, um, for my sister-in-law's wedding, and um, it was amazing. I was in total culture shock for like the first day and a half and then after that I didn't want to leave. <laughs> um, but we stayed there for about a week and then my sister-in-law and her new husband stayed on for another another week and I didn't pick them up at the time but I sent her a message saying I can't stop thinking about these little statues, can you please get them for me? And she did. So this little dodes, that's a little god representation and this one's a little goddess representation. Behind that I have um, a picture of Hecate. Um, I I got this from DeviantArt, I think. I'm really sorry, I can't remember the artist's name off the top of my head, but I'll try and find it and link it um, in the comment uh, in the description. Um, I have had this huge pull towards Hecate over the last few years. Um, I've kind of been, I don't know, not called out on it, but um, I'm not even questioned about it either, but just sort of looked at weird when I say that Hecate has sort of been been very prominent for me. Um, I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Um, after having done some research on her and um, and finding out a bit more about her, 
Um, but yeah, I, I, whenever I mention it, it's like it's like saying the devil. <laughs> But she's, she is the goddess of witches and she's the goddess of the crossroads and she always seems to come to me when I'm in a bit of crisis or need to, to choose a direction or um, that kind of thing. And she's also a goddess of um, a pr protectress um, of women in childbirth and of children and for that, that's, I think that's why she is, has come to me and why, why she's prominent to me. Um, so. Um, I haven't done a hell of a lot of work with Hecate, but I intend on doing a bit more um, sort of communing with her and connecting with her um, because I've never really felt a pull towards a, a single goddess or a single deity, full stop, um, until Hecate came to me. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to delve a bit more into that. Anyway, moving on. Um, this is an Indian sandalwood candle, which I've got burning at the moment. This is my god candle over here black candle and oh, my white goddess candle of course um, in behind here I have my spirit candle which I guess you could call a deity candle as well um, which I only light when I'm sort of in in ritual or in a meditation or something like that um, where am I going next down here I have my compass so I know which directions which um, there's a little clear quartz um, seer stone I think that's what they call them here is a little container that I keep my pendulum and I've got a big amethyst like pendant in there and a couple of cool marbles that I found laying around. I'm not sure what else is in there. That's about it. And some incense burning sandalwood. I love sandalwood. I, I can't even tell you how much I love sandalwood. Um, if I had to choose like an incense blend for myself, it would be mostly sandalwood. I just love it. And sage. Beautiful. Um, this one, that's my little oil burner. I've just got a wax melt in there at the moment. This is my athame. I'm not going to pull it right out, but I'll lift it out enough so you can see it's got the little pentagram on there. I've had this for many, 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 many years. Um, these goblets I bought, I think I got them from an op shop, charity shop, um, when I was traveling somewhere, but I can't really remember. I may have even picked them up from a friend at a tr for a trade or something. I can't even remember, but I love them because I love the contrast between the stem and the, and the goblet part. And I kind of use them just as like little offering bowls. Um, this is just like a fake flower headdress thing that I picked up cheap at a, um, like a dollar store kind of place. It's called shiploads here. I don't know where else. They have shiploads if it's just a Tasmanian thing or what. Um, this is a, a necklace of shells, little, um, they're not cowrie shells, just little shells from Vanuatu as well. Um, I can't remember what stone that is. I'm not sure, but the little bracelet there anyway. Oh, and my dream bigger than the moon. So that's sort of my altar space. It does sort of continue down here. Um, so I'll do a quick sort of bookshelf tour because Everyone loves books, and particularly witchy books. <laughs> um, so here I have my tarot books. This is tarot up to about here. And then I have on a couple up here too. Um, and then I've got sort of um, psychic development and clairvoyant books. Then I've got some general spirituality books, not necessarily pagan um a few other bits and pieces here i'm not going to read every book rituals for everyday living budapest books um fiona horn books fiona horn is like one of the main reasons i got into paganism i saw her on like i can't even remember what it was on like hey hey it's saturday or something like that um and she just fascinated me and so that was one of the reasons why i got into to paganism um Positive Magic, Drawing Down the Moon, of course. If anyone's interested in a memoir of Finding the Path, this is a really good book, Book of Shadows by Phyllis Corot, or Corot, I'm not even sure, I think it's Corot. Um, that is a really interesting read. I read it in like no time flat, and I'm a slow reader these days. Um, Celestine Prophecy. It is interesting, it's an interesting concept. Don't know if I'm totally sold, but we'll see. Um, Essa Le Guin, these are just some more fiction, fiction but spiritual type of books. Above that I've got some my, my incense here and another uh, Patricia Crowley book. 
and some more incense there and my little besom which I picked up from a shop called Ishka don't know if anyone knows it very well but I love it I love Ishka and I love the stuff that they have down here I've got my little wizard and my wand that I made at a workshop a little while ago probably about oh gosh it'd have to be at least four years ago now I made it before I had my daughter so um, and it's got little I'm an air element so I've got a little feather and a little pentagram there with a raven um, that's a smudge stick that I've made with with friends I can't remember what's even in it but I'd not I'd, I'll know it when I burn it <laughs> um, I know there's lemon balm in there somewhere um, these are just like little try and focus in a bit here um, little animal representations of the elements so there's like a little bird for I think that's like a pheasant um, for air there's a dragon for fire there's a turtle for water and a tiger for earth um, so they're really cool I've got them in a magazine subscription as well if you if I mention the magazine subscription by the way it is the D Agostini mind body and spirit um, subscription magazine it's really cool if you can get it um, they've changed a few things in it since I collected it um, but it's still really cool they've actually got like a whole um, oracle set in there now I think I've got my crystal books here um, all my Cunningham still haven't got quite as many Cunningham books as I would like but I'm getting there this is an interesting book about pagan ethics um, it's by Emma Restall Orr it's really fascinating so pick that one up if that's something that interests you this is a dream book that I've like a dream interpretation book that I've had since I was really young like 14 um, probably even before that my mum bought it for me for Christmas one year um, Kate West uh, this is also general magic and paganism stuff book of spells Phoenix from the flame by Vivian Crowley the witch's sabbats by Mark Nichols it's a really good book um, if you want to know more about sabbats um starhawk spiral dance of course which is ten commandments is another excellent book it is by marion singer check that out if you haven't already book of english magic um by philip cargon i picked that up because i saw a few youtubers had picked it up and i was really intrigued by it so i just wanted to check that one out i haven't read it yet though i don't read very fast these days with kids and everything <laughs> um green witchcraft that's number three i need to get the other two more Vivian Crowley, Everyday Witchcraft by Deborah Blake. These three books at the end are by Frances Billinghurst. She's an Australian author. Um, she is amazing. She's, yeah, she, her writing is really, really um, just, bleh, I don't even have words. She's really fantastic. She's a fantastic author. Um, I've got a couple of books up here I just picked up for cheap recently. Um, what else have I got down here? Oh, and of course, Women Who Run With the Wolves, because every woman should read this book. Um, and this is just a wand that I'm going to be selling because I don't have it connected with it. So I won't show that one because otherwise I might connect with it. <laughs> no, I just love the wand that I made and I bought this one before I made my own. And of course, the one that I made just, of course, it's sung to me. So I kept that one. This box here... I've got a smaller one with the tarot cards in it, but this one's just got like a reading that I had done and wax melt and some incense and stuff in there. So I need to stock that back up with my other incense now. This is just a magazine I picked up that I haven't put away yet. Cup of Destiny from a friend of mine. Um, she was given it for a birthday present or something and she didn't want it. She never used it. So she gave it to me very recently and I'm very, very blessed to have that. Um, now last shelf and I'm right down the floor now <laughs> um divining the future by Sally Morningstar so these are just random books there's no order to these um because they're just the bigger books that didn't fit on the other shelves this here um is called Maiden Moon it is like a, a 101 course in Wicca um well they call it an advanced Wicca 101 but it's by Simon Craft and it was downloadable for free um i have found this really really interesting i mean i know it's 101 so it's very basic stuff but it is huge and 
I just printed it all out and put it in a display book. Um, I'll have to see if it's still available online anywhere because this has just got heaps of information. In fact, um, a friend of mine who grew up as Jehovah's Witness, um, she sort of distanced herself from any religion, religious stuff at all. Um, and recently someone mentioned to her about hand fasting um, and she has now sort of become a bit more interested in learning about paganism, just, just as learning about it, not necessarily... Um, identifying as pagan but definitely learning about it because that's something that she was never exposed to so um, I might even learn her that as well um, I'm talking really fast because I'm trying to make this a really not a really short video but a much shorter video than it could be um, the psychic explorers have got weaker in a day a year in a day weaker in a day <laughs> oh I need to slow down okay um, Deborah Gray Got Idiot's Guide, of course, you need an Idiot's Guide. That's another book that I could loan because it's just basic. Um, Grimoire for the Green Witch, that is an amazing book. If you do not have that one, get that. And also The Elements of Ritual and Way of Four by Deborah Lip, amazing. Get them as well. Um, to Ride a Silver Broomstick, I got that cheap. I'm not sure why I kept hold of it because it's Raven Wolf, but I suppose my philosophy about books is that you take what you what works for you and just leave the rest um and that's the whole premise and the whole basis of my my spiritual practice is that um you take what works for you and just discard the rest if it doesn't work for you there's no point going on about it um just leave it and move on um, what else have I got here? What's that one? Seasons of the Goddess. That was an um, Australian book. Moon Magic. Uncle Bucky's Big Blue Book, of course. Um, what else have we got here? Everything Witch Wicker and Witchcraft. Hands Holders Witches, which is more of a research sort of book. Um, his sort of, um, what's the word? Um, encounters with Witches. I was trying to think of the word. <laughs> um he sort of it's sort of like a documentary but book style um I've got hedge witch and all the temple of witchcraft by penzac um and a few books here that are sort of just random ones that came with a big bunch of books that i got um relatively cheaply um what else have i got here actually no i got a bunch of books in exchange for reading that's right um and I've got, oh, that's just magazine. That was my word of the year last year, growth. I hope that's hung up and I still need to do my word of the year this year, which is balance. Just some random magazines there. My old witchcraft magazine diaries. I miss witchcraft magazine so much. It was such an amazing magazine. I wish it would come back. And I loved the diaries as well. Um, and then fortune telling me. Are you tired? You want to go have a lie down? Um, and then just a couple of other big books there. And this was this whole thing was actually like a, I don't know, like a bar. Because um, this is like wine racks here. But I used it for my, I used it for my incense um, sticks because they fit perfectly along the, the racks there. So that's my witchy bookshelf. That's my altar space. That's, that's it. It's pretty awesome. I enjoy it. Oh, and that poster up there I made. Um, I'm going to be selling it on my... Um, on my website as a printable I will have southern hemisphere and northern hemisphere options available so um, anyone can purchase it won't be expensive maybe five bucks or something I'm not sure yet I've got to work it out but um, yeah okay so that's it that's it that's that's all she that's all she wrote so I love my space um, I'd love to have a whole room to myself <laughs> But that just doesn't happen in a room for, uh, in a house of four people with three bedrooms. Um, so yeah, it'll it is what it is. So okay, hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye. Bye.